Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to McCall Media TV with myself, Angela McCall. Uh, today's video, we are talking all about Google Alerts. So if you haven't used this fabulous little tool, it's completely free and provided by Google, funnily enough. And we're gonna be having a bit of a deep dive into some of the tips and tricks that you can basically do with your Google Alerts to help you in your online digital marketing endeavors, shall we say. So if you haven't been here before, Please be sweet enough to click that subscribe button and the bell to stay notified to my channel as and when I publish videos, which is generally on a weekly basis. So, we're talking Google Alerts. Let's dive on over to my left-hand monitor where you can see I've already navigated to the Google homepage. Just wanna point out that actually I am already logged into my Google account. This does help you and you will need to do so before you start with this process. Now, the easiest way to get to Google Alerts is to literally after the term google.co.uk forward slash alerts okay as you can see because i'm already signed in with my google account it's populated on screen with some alerts that i think i set up about a year ago and not really thought much more of it since so we're going to talk to you about what's going on screen here and how we can actually tweak and perfect some things but it's really easy to create a google alert so for example i haven't got mccall media studios up and running okay so having a look at this you can see here the moment I've typed in the term McCall Media Studios it's trying to give me an example and a synopsis of all the different things that are going on using that term now for those of you with a keen eye as it were you'll probably notice that some of these words are bolded and actually what it's doing is it's trying to suggest things at the moment to me that uses the very, any one of those three words, okay? Uh, and so it's not quite delivering exactly what it is that I want to receive information on. So one of the things that you can do is to actually encompass your term with double quotes like that, and then you'll see that it'll actually provide that as a specific search term. So now it's only showing me some results that are on the web for basically McCall Media Studios, which is, which is very, very, very niche focused for my needs. Now, if I change this to something a little bit more generic, so Euro 2020, because obviously it was postponed last year and is currently taking place as we film at the moment. Um, obviously, there's going to be hundreds and thousands of articles, blog articles, news reports, uh, websites, all sorts of content available. So it's giving us something meaty to search on. So maybe we want to we wanna be notified every time something happens to do with the term Euro 2020. Well, we could first of all make sure that it is specifically that term, Euro 2020. And what we can do here is we can click on that show options. And now what we're doing is we're customizing how this alert itself works. So we wanna be notified as it happens. We want to receive just blog articles, for example, but we could just say web. Let's say web, because it probably have more on there. If there was a video go out on it, and if you look down here, it's only going, it's only got some web content at the moment. But if we, if there's any websites to talk about it or any videos we want to know, okay, that's what we're going to leave those settings with there. Obviously, you can tweak and play to your heart's content. Obviously, in the English language, because I don't, well, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but that's another story. Um, we can then choose the uh, region. Now, obviously, if it was something like Euro 2020, then we probably want to leave that sort of generic to any region, because obviously there was countries all through Europe that are, are in part of the Euro 2020. But if it was my business, for example, I'd probably just select that I only want articles from the UK. Then um, we need to talk about how many articles. So we could have every single result that it ever finds to do with that specific search term or only the best results. And then finally, because I've logged on with my Google account, it's picked up my email address and populated that automatically. So I will get into my uh, Outlook inbox for my business any results now on Euro 2020 and all I have to do is click on create alert and as you can see it's now been added to my list and it's the, it's the newest one that's at the top now this little uh, settings icon here allows me how to control how those alerts are sent to me so every time something happens I could do an alert at 10 o'clock so it'll kind of store it at the moment I'm filming at about 11 so it will store this information and send me an email tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I can also digest all those emails so say for example something as popular as Euro 2020 might have thousands of comments and uh, 
blog articles and websites and all sorts going on all the time. I don't want my entire inbox being cluttered so I could digest them all down into a single email and I could have that delivered once a day or once a week and again just clarifying which email address I want it to go to and as you can see I've got a couple of options already populated because of my Google account being um, set up that way. And then once I'm happy I can click on save and now that will change the next the, the settings essentially for every single alert that takes place so just remember that these settings are for everything to do with your Google Alerts account not just on an individual alert by alert basis so I'm gonna just quickly delete that because you don't need it and I'm just going to um, actually I might just leave that as a digest because I do quite a few emails right so next thing I want to show you is if we open up my Outlook calendar, I've already put in the search term Google Alerts. And as you can see, um, not only does the email show that it's coming from Google Alerts, there's the email address, the actual subject line starts with Google Alert and then the term that it thinks it's found. So obviously my name's Angela McCall. So in this sense, I want to see what people are talking about. As it happens, I didn't put, if we go back to my Google Alerts, you can see here Angela McCall, I didn't put that in the double speech mark, so that means that any kind of variation is being reported to me, which actually is a little bit annoying because this person, Angie McCall, isn't me. I am not an Angie anywhere on this planet other than what my cousin, who's the only person I know that calls me Angie. Um, but essentially, this is telling me what it thinks is helpful information, but it's not. So that's one of the reasons why, if you are customizing this, you might need to tweak and play a little bit. And it's as easy as clicking on that edit button Button, going back in and then updating and I'm just gonna do this for all of my things because my call is a quite a, a I'm not gonna say common name it's not like Smith or Jones but it is something that um, we've got a celebrity in the UK called Davina McCall who obviously gets a lot of press and I'm getting notifications about her all the time and that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna tweak those settings now if we go back to my actual Google Alerts and we look through this you can see there McCall Media Limited so it found again because I hadn't got those double speech marks it's picked up the word McCall and it's trying to be helpful but it's actually not and you can go all the way down telling and, and have a look and see so you could just leave it quite generic to begin with and see what happens now I often delete these as um, and when they come in after I've had a quick nose but uh, obviously depending on what you are using it for you will get these alerts into your inbox you can obviously run some rules and things like that to maybe have a dedicated folder for them now some things that I just want to point out to you how you can use this as you can see there I was searching on my own name and my business's name so I was kind of keeping a tabs on what was going on in the general world as it were that people might be talking about my business or myself okay so what other things that you could do, say for example, if you've got a member of staff who is in charge of writing your blog articles and publishing them, you might just wanna keep that notification so every time she or he, you could put a notification on their name, for example, and the word author or something like that, depending on how you've set them up in your website. Every time they publish an article, you could get a notification and kind of keep an eye on your team. You could also use this as a way of finding research on topics. So for example, obviously I'm in the website design industry, more specifically, WordPress is where I work on. So if I wanted to find out some alerts on WordPress events, I might put that in as a search term. So I could then keep an idea, uh, an eye out on the general industry itself. You could also do use this for trending topics, for following celebrities, a whole bunch of things. It really is limited down to your imagination and whatever the search term is that you want to search or have an alert come through on. And obviously the more imaginative you get, the more you can create some things to help you. Now, if you was doing some research for say for a book and you wanted to know what people thought on a particular topic, you could also look at, you know, it would search things like forums and stuff like that as well to for that search term. So if you was very thoughtful as to how you want to use this tool, it could be a very powerful way of keeping you up to date on trending topics so you could rise that wave of interest of things that are going on in the public, get some exposure and all sorts of things that you can do. So I'm gonna leave the video here, there, right now. I hope that gives you some food for thought. Thank you very much for watching. If I have, if you haven't done so already, please do click that bell and the button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you on another video real soon. Thanks for watching.